In the late 1950s, the music scene was forever changed by the arrival of Tina Turner, a dynamic and captivating performer who fronted the Ike and Tina Turner Review. Her stage presence was a force to be reckoned with, drawing from the raw emotion of gospel and the soulful energy that defined early rhythm and blues. As audiences witnessed her powerful performances, they couldn't help but be drawn into the depth of her artistry. The passion and power she exuded on stage were a reflection of her personal journey, which would later be explored in the biographical film. What's Love Got to Do With It in 1993? This classic film delved into the intimate details of the music artist's life, revealing the highs and lows of her career and relationship with Ike Turner. Through it all, Tina Turner remained a symbol of resilience and determination, inspiring generations of music lovers with her unforgettable sound and spirit. Tina Turner, born Anna Mae Bullock, came into the world on November 26, 1939, in Brownsville, Tennessee. The humble town of Nutbush was where she spent her early years, raised by her sharecropping family in a modest two-room house. Her childhood was marked by frequent moves, with different relatives taking care of her at various points in time. When Tina's parents moved to Oak Ridge during World War II, she stayed behind with her paternal grandparents. Later, she moved in with the overseer's family, who managed the farm where her family worked. Eventually, Tina's sister Olini moved to Detroit, and Tina joined her maternal grandmother, marking another shift in her living situation. Despite the constant changes in her life, Tina's love for music remained a constant. Her early experiences in the South would later influence her music, giving it a unique blend of soul, rock, and rhythm, and blues. Tina's journey from a small town in Tennessee to becoming a global superstar is a testament to her resilience and determination. Her music continues to resonate with audiences worldwide, inspiring generations of musicians and fans alike. Tina Turner's musical talent began to emerge during her teenage years in St. Louis, Missouri in the mid-1950s. It was here that the music artist's destiny intertwined with band leader Ike Turner, marking the start of a historical collaboration. Their musical journey commenced at the renowned Club Manhattan in East St. Louis, Kansas. At the time, Tina Turner was still known by her birth name, Anana Mae Bullock. She was born on November 26, 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee, and moved to St. Louis as a teenager. It was there that she first encountered Ike Turner's band, the Kings of Rhythm, at Club Manhattan. Tina was immediately captivated by the music and began attending the club regularly to watch the band perform. One night, Tina was invited on stage to sing with the band and her powerful voice and electrifying stage presence left the audience in awe. Ike Turner recognized Tina's talent and began to mentor her, eventually inviting her to join the band as a permanent member. Under Ike's guidance, Tina honed her skills as a singer and performer, and the two became a formidable musical duo. They released their first single together, A Fool in Love, in 1960, which became an instant hit and launched their careers as successful recording artists. Tina and Ike's collaboration continued throughout the 1960s and 1970s with hits such as River Deep, Mountain High, and Proud Mary. However, their personal relationship was fraught with turmoil and abuse and Tina eventually left Ike in 1976 to pursue a solo career. Despite the challenges she faced, Tina's talent and determination shone through, and she went on to become one of the most successful and beloved music artists of all time. Her solo career was marked by hits, such as What's Love Got To Do With It, and Private Dancer, and she became known for her energetic and powerful live performances. Tina's impact on the music industry is undeniable, and her legacy continues to inspire and influence artists today. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring appeal of her unique and captivating musical talent. Initially known as Little Anne, the music artist experienced a significant change in her stage name when the band's hit single A Fool in Love soared up the rhythm and blues charts in 1960. This shift coincided with the artist taking her place as the lead singer, marking the beginning of her rise to fame. 
In the vibrant era of the 1960s, the Turners took the stage as the opening act for the Rolling Stones. During this time, the music artist's voice soared and the captivating crossover hit River Deep, Mountain High. This classic was produced by the iconic Phil Spector, further solidifying the music artist's place in music history. As the music artist's career progressed, she continued to leave her mark on the industry, showcasing her powerful voice and dynamic stage presence. Her impact transcended musical genres and resonated with audiences around the world. Despite facing various challenges along the way, the music artist remained a resilient figure in the industry, inspiring generations of musicians and fans alike. Tina Turner's journey to stardom was not without its share of hardships. Behind the glitz and glamour of her successful music career with husband Ike Turner, a dark secret lurked. The Turner's marriage was marred by severe domestic violence. Tina, a victim of intense physical and emotional abuse by her husband, was subjected to brutal beatings. In June of 1976, during a tour stop in Dallas, Tina reached her breaking point after enduring a particularly brutal beating. With courage and determination, she made the difficult decision to leave Ike Turner despite the tour's significance for their careers. Carrying less than 50 cents and forsaking her baggage, Tina Turner walked away from her tumultuous marriage and began a new chapter in her life. The music artist's harrowing experiences with domestic violence were later revealed in her autobiography, I, Tina, which was later adapted into the film. What's love got to do with it? The film shed light on the darker side of Tina's marriage and showcased her resilience and strength in overcoming adversity. Despite the challenges she faced, Tina Turner's legacy as a music icon remains unshaken. Her powerful voice and electrifying performances have left an indelible mark on the music industry, inspiring generations of musicians and fans alike. The film based on her life serves as a testament to her enduring spirit and determination reminding us all of the importance of standing up for oneself and seeking a better life. After years of enduring emotional and physical abuse, the music artist Tina Turner decided to leave her husband and musical partner Ike Turner. Just a month later, on July 27, 1976, Tina filed for divorce, ultimately finalizing it in March of 1978. The settlement Though yielding her a modest fortune, also settled lawsuits stemming from canceled Ike and Tina Turner review engagements. However, with a generous heart, she gave away most of her earnings, rendering herself nearly penniless. Yet, she remained undeterred and resolute in her pursuit of a solo path. Tina's decision to leave Ike was a turning point in her life, marking the beginning of her journey towards liberation and artistic independence. The music artist's decision to leave her abusive husband was a courageous act that required immense strength and resilience. By walking away from her marriage and musical partnership with Ike, Tina took control of her life and career, paving the way for her to become a successful solo artist. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, Tina persevered and continued to pursue her passion for music. Her determination and resilience paid off, and she went on to release several successful albums and embark on sold-out tour. Tina's story is a testament to the power of resilience and the human spirit's ability to overcome adversity. In the end, Tina's decision to leave Ike and pursue a solo career was a liberating experience that allowed her to embrace her true identity and artistic vision. Her journey serves as an inspiration to many reminding us that it is never too late to pursue our dreams and take control of our lives. After facing personal struggles, Tina Turner sought refuge in London, England, in 1977. She embraced European life and dedicated herself to her craft, laying the groundwork for her successful solo career. The music artist's determination led her to enlist Roger Davies as her manager in 1979, a crucial step in her journey. In 1981, Tina Turner returned to her homeland, ready to reclaim her place in the spotlight. She embarked on a series of live performances alongside the Rolling Stones, 
which rekindled public interest in her music. This exposure fueled the flames of her career, paving the way for her triumphant return. Throughout the 1980s, Tina Turner's career reached new heights with her powerful voice and energetic performances captivating audiences worldwide. Her classic hits, such as What's Love Got to Do With It and Private Dancer, resonated with fans and solidified her status as a music icon. This resurgence culminated in a series of successful albums and tours, cementing her place in music history. In 1984, the music artist Tina Turner released her album Private Dancer, marking a significant turning point in her career. This classic record, which became a commercial success, spun out three remarkable top ten singles, including the chart-topping sensation, What's Love Got to Do With It. This anthem not only became her first number one hit, but also earned her three Grammy Awards that year, Best Female Pop Vocalist, Best Female Rock Vocalist, and the coveted record of the year. Private Dancer was a testament to the music artist's resilience and determination, showcasing her powerful vocals and captivating stage presence. The album's success propelled her to new heights, solidifying her status as a formidable force in the music industry. What's Love Got to Do With It resonated with audiences worldwide, becoming a timeless classic that continues to inspire and captivate listeners to this day. The music artist's triumph with Private Dancer was a significant milestone in her career, marking a new chapter in her life and music. The album's success transcended the boundaries of pop and rock music, leaving an indelible mark on the music industry and solidifying the music artist's place in the annals of music history. This classic album remains a testament to the music artist's enduring talent and impact, inspiring generations of musicians and fans alike. After years of being in the limelight, the music artist Tina Turner found herself repeatedly discussing the tumultuous period of her life spent with her former spouse, Ike Turner, the grueling marriage, marked by controlling behavior and physical abuse, had taken a toll on her, and she longed for closure. In an act of catharsis, Tina decided to pen her autobiography, I, Tina, revealing the raw and painful details of her path. As Tina delved into the writing process, she sought to provide a candid account of her experiences, and, in doing so, Hope to find a sense of peace. The book offered an unfiltered look into the music artist's life, shedding light on the challenges she faced and the resilience she demonstrated in overcoming them. I, Tina quickly became a source of inspiration for many, as readers connected with the music artist's raw emotions and unwavering spirit. During the same period, Tina's career continued to flourish. Her album Break Every Rule was released to widespread critical acclaim and commercial success. The record, which featured hits like Typical Male and What You Get Is What You See, resonated with audiences and solidified Tina's status as a musical powerhouse. Break Every Rule went on to achieve multi-platinum status, further cementing the music artist's legacy in the industry. In the midst of sharing her story and continuing to break records, Tina found solace in the knowledge that she had taken control of her narrative. By laying bare the painful details of her past, she had not only found closure but also provided a source of inspiration for countless individuals. The music artist's journey from enduring a tumultuous marriage to finding success and sharing her story through I, Tina, and Break Every Rule remains a testament to her strength and resilience. In 1987, the music artist Tina Turner added another Grammy to her collection for the soulful track, Back Where You Started. This accolade was a testament to her unwavering dedication and talent in the industry. Following this, she embarked on a grand 18-month world tour, taking her electrifying performances to 25 countries until 1988. Throughout this extensive tour, Turner's concerts were met with sold-out crowds, a testament to her enduring popularity. Her recordings continued to fly off the shelves, further solidifying her status as a musical powerhouse. Among the albums released during this period was the Grammy-winning Tina, Live in Europe by Capitol Records. This classic showcased her exceptional prowess 
as a female rock vocalist resonating with audiences worldwide. The music artist's live performances were a spectacle to behold, filled with energy, passion, and an undeniable connection with her fan. Her ability to captivate audiences across different cultures and continents was a testament to her universal appeal and the transcendent power of her music. This classic album, Tina Live in Europe, served as a snapshot of this era, immortalizing her powerful performances for future generations to enjoy. After the phenomenal success of her tour, Tina Turner decided to take a well-deserved break in 1989. The music artist, who had spent years captivating audiences with her powerful voice and electrifying performances, was finally ready to embrace a new chapter of her life. She returned to Europe, where she purchased a home in the charming neighborhood of Notting Hill Gate, London. This classic abode became her sanctuary, a place where she could retreat from the spotlight and enjoy some well-earned peace and quiet. For Tina Turner, this new chapter was not just about rest and relaxation. It was also about exploring new passions and interests. She had always been fascinated by art and design, and now she had the time to indulge in these pursuits. She began collecting paintings and sculptures and even took up painting herself. Despite her desire for privacy, Tina Turner's fame and popularity continued to soar. Fans and critics alike couldn't get enough of this classic music artist, and her impact on the world of music was undeniable. She had transcended generations and genres, leaving behind a legacy that would endure for years to come. As Tina Turner settled into her new life in London, she couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for all that she had accomplished. She had stepped into the world of music as a young woman with big dreams, and she had emerged as a true legend. Her image now stood as an embodiment of strength, resilience, and talent, inspiring countless others to follow in her footsteps. And so, as she walked the streets of Notting Hill Gate, Tina Turner knew that she had truly come full circle. She had started her journey as a young girl with a dream, and she had ended up as one of the most beloved and respected music artists of all time. It was a remarkable achievement, and one that she would always cherish. Transitioning from her music career, the renowned Tina Turner graced the silver screen in select motion pictures. In 1975, she made her acting debut as the Acid Queen in the film adaptation of the Who's Rock opera Tommy. Portraying a drug-dealing prostitute, she left a lasting impression with her powerful performance and unique style. A decade later, in 1985, Tina Turner took on another memorable role in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. She played the formidable Auntie Entity, the ruler of Bartertown, a ruthless yet shrewd character who commanded respect and authority. This role showcased her ability to embody strong and resilient characters, further solidifying her status as a multi-talented artist. Throughout her acting career, Tina Turner preferred roles that exuded strength and resilience, reflecting her own personal journey and experiences. Despite acting not being the primary focus of her illustrious career, she left an indelible mark on the film industry with her captivating performances. In 1993, the spotlight shone on the music artist's early career with the British documentary, Tina Turner, The Girl from Nutbush. This show offered a rare look into the formative years of the Ike and Tina Turner review through uncommon footage. However, the documentary took a step back when film director Brian Gibson decided to adapt Turner's 1986 autobiography into a feature film. The movie, also released in 1993, featured Angela Bassett as Tina Turner and Lawrence Fishburne as Ike Turner. Entitled, What's Love Got to Do With It? This classic brought the music artist's life story to the forefront, showcasing her struggles, triumphs, and resilience. Bassett's portrayal of Turner was so remarkable that the music artist herself praised the actress, stating that Bassett had captured Tina. The film resonated with audiences transcending the boundaries of a simple biopic and leaving a lasting impact on those who stepped into Turner's world. The movie's release coincided with the music artist's resurgence in popularity 
as she was in the midst of a successful comeback tour in Europe. What's love got to do with it served as a testament to Turner's enduring spirit and indomitable will, further solidifying her place in the annals of music history. To this day, both the documentary and the feature film remain cherished pieces of this classic music artist's legacy, offering viewers a glimpse into the life of a true icon. In 1996, the unyielding spirit of the music artist, Tina Turner, was on full display with the release of her album, Wildest Dreams. This classic showed that even as she approached her 60th year, Turner remained a force of nature, exuding boundless energy. The album featured collaborations with esteemed artists such as Bono, Sheryl Crow, Sting, and Antonio Banderas, demonstrating her ability to work with and learn from her contemporary. Wildest Dreams was a testament to Turner's enduring impact on the music industry and her ability to remain relevant in an ever-changing landscape. This album resonated with fans and critics alike, reminding them of the music artist's undeniable prowess and the mark she had left on the world of music. In the year 2000, the illustrious music artist, Tina Turner, further solidified her place in the annals of music history with the release of her 10th solo album, 24-7. This masterpiece was unveiled under Virgin Records and showcased the artist's uncanny ability to harmonize effortlessly with younger talents. The album was met with critical acclaim, with reviewers praising the singer's unwavering dedication to her craft. As 24-7 began to dominate the airwaves, Tina Turner's star power ascended to even greater heights. The music icon was invited to perform at the pregame show Super Bowl 34, a testament to her enduring influence and popularity. In front of a global audience, the singer mesmerized fans with an electrifying performance that set the stage ablaze. The album's success and her Super Bowl performance were the culmination of a career that had already spanned several decades. Tina Turner had long since established herself as a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. Her earlier works had earned her numerous accolades, and she had become known for her powerful voice and energetic stage presence. 24-7 was a fitting addition to Tina Turner's discography. The album featured a mix of genres, from R&B to rock, and showcased the singer's versatility. The music artist's collaboration with younger talents on the album was a testament to her enduring appeal and her ability to connect with audiences of all ages. In conclusion, Tina Turner's 24-7 album and her performance at Super Bowl 34 were highlights of her career in the year 2000. The album showcased her unwavering dedication to her craft, while her Super Bowl performance underscored her enduring influence and popularity. These achievements were a fitting testament to the music artist's long and storied career. After a successful string of performances in the United States, the music artist Tina Turner took her talents global. In 1993, she embarked on an extraordinary international tour that spanned 49 cities, showcasing her powerful voice and energetic stage presence to fans around the world. This tour was a testament to her enduring popularity and her ability to connect with audiences of all backgrounds. The tour culminated in a breathtaking finale at the iconic Radio City Music Hall in New York City. This classic venue, with its Art Deco architecture and rich history, provided the perfect backdrop for the music artist's final performance on this tour. Fans from all over the world gathered to see Tina Turner bring the house down one last time, and she did not disappoint. Not long after this historic tour, Tina Turner revealed her decision to retire from touring. This announcement marked the end of an era for the music artist, who had spent decades performing for audiences around the globe. In total, she had performed an astonishing 116 concerts during her final tour, leaving a lasting impact on fans and the music industry as a whole. Throughout her career, Tina Turner had always been known for her captivating stage presence and her powerful voice. Her final tour was no exception, and she left audiences in awe with her incredible energy and passion. Although she may have retired from touring, her music and her legacy will continue to resonate with fans for generations to come. Tina Turner's fierce spirit and powerful voice have left an indelible mark on the music industry. Her onstage persona 
full of energy and vivacity, captivated audiences worldwide. However, fans were in for a surprise when they discovered her true demeanor off stage. In person, the music artist was soft-spoken and composed, a stark contrast to the fiery and energetic presence she embodied during her performances. Borana May Bullock, on November 26, 1939, in Nutbush, Tennessee, Tina Turner's life was far from easy. She faced numerous challenges, including domestic abuse, before finding success in the music industry. Her determination and resilience shone through in her music, which resonated with fans worldwide. Despite her success, Tina Turner remained humble and down to earth. She was known for her kindness and generosity, often going out of her way to help others. Her personal life was marked by a fierce independence and a commitment to living life on her own terms. Tina Turner's impact on the music industry is undeniable. She sold millions of albums worldwide and won numerous awards, including eight Grammy Awards. Her music, which spans genres from rock to soul to R&B, continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. In addition to her music, Tina Turner also made her mark in film and television. She starred in the 1985 film Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome and appeared in numerous television shows and specials. Her performances were always memorable and she brought her unique energy and style to every role. Tina Turner's personal life was marked by both challenges and triumphs. Despite facing adversity, she remained committed to living her life with grace and dignity. Her story is a testament to the power of resilience and the human spirit. In conclusion, Tina Turner's fierce spirit and powerful voice have left an indelible mark on the music industry and beyond. Her onstage persona, full of energy and vivacity, captivated audiences worldwide. Yet her true demeanor offstage, soft-spoken and composed, revealed a different side of this classic music artist. Her personal life, marked by both challenges and triumphs, serves as a testament to the power of resilience and the human spirit. After parting ways with her former husband and musical partner, Ike Turner, the music artist found solace in the embrace of London in 1977. This classic city offered her a fresh start and the opportunity to rediscover herself as a solo artist. It was here that she began to rebuild her life and career performing in sold-out shows and recording new music. In the following years, the music artist ventured to Cologne, Germany, where she continued to make a name for herself as a powerful and captivating performer. Her shows in Germany were met with critical acclaim and adoring fans, further solidifying her status as a musical icon. Eventually, the music artist settled in Zurich, Switzerland in 1998, where she shared a luxurious home with Erwin Bach a German record company executive. They had fostered a relationship since 1986, and their love story was a testament to the music artist's resilience and strength. Living in Zurich offered the music artist a sense of peace and tranquility that she had not experienced in years. She enjoyed the beautiful scenery and the slower pace of life, often taking long walks in the countryside and enjoying the company of her beloved pets. Despite her retirement from the music industry, the music artist's impact and legacy continued to resonate with fans around the world. Her contributions to music and entertainment had transcended generations, inspiring countless artists and leaving a lasting mark on the industry. As the music artist settled into her new life in Zurich, she remained grateful for the love and support of her fans and the opportunities that had come her way. She continued to cherish her relationship with Erwin Bach and the sense of home that she had found in Switzerland. And while her days of performing on stage may have been behind her, her music and her spirit continued to captivate audiences around the world. Tina Turner, a mother of two sons, Craig and Ronnie, found joy in being a grandmother and great-grandmother. Her family life was an essential aspect of her identity, often serving as a source of strength and motivation throughout her career. In addition to her family, Turner also found solace in the spiritual path of Buddhism. Before parting ways with her former husband and musical partner Ike, she delved into the study of this faith. Buddhism offered her a sense of peace and understanding, 
and she continued to follow it devotedly for the rest of her life. Turner's exploration of Buddhism was a significant aspect of her personal growth and development. It allowed her to find inner strength and resilience even in the face of adversity. Her commitment to this spiritual path was a testament to her deep belief in the power of compassion, mindfulness, and spiritual growth. Throughout her life, Tina Turner remained committed to her family and her spiritual beliefs. She found joy in being a mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. And she found peace and understanding in the teachings of Buddhism. Her devotion to both of these aspects of her life was a source of inspiration to those around her and a testament to her enduring spirit. After taking a well-deserved break from the demanding limelight, the music artist Tina Turner found solace and happiness in a quieter life. Away from the bustling energy of her on-stage persona, she embraced the role of a homebody, indulging in the simple pleasures of decorating her homes and savoring home-cooked meals. Turner's love for interior design became a creative outlet for her allowing her to express herself in a different medium. She took great care in selecting every detail, from the furniture to the artwork, creating spaces that reflected her unique style and personality. Her homes became a testament to her exquisite taste, exuding warmth and elegance. Meanwhile, even in retirement, this classic singer's music continued to make a significant impact. In 2005, her greatest hits compilation, all the best made an impressive debut on the charts, securing the number two position. This achievement served as a testament to her enduring legacy in the world of music, resonating with fans both old and new. The success of All the Best was a clear reflection of the music artist's timeless appeal. Her songs transcended generations, remaining relevant and inspiring to many. The album's strong performance was a fitting conclusion to a remarkable career, one that had left an indelible mark in the annals of music history. In her retirement, Tina Turner continued to be a source of inspiration, her influence reaching far beyond the realm of music. Her story of resilience and determination served as a beacon of hope for many, a testament to the power of perseverance and the human spirit. And while she had stepped away from the stage, her music remained a vibrant and enduring legacy that continued to captivate audiences worldwide.